off base, well, there were a lot of great performances around the majors last week, so it's time to hand out some hardware for the American and National League Players of the Week presented by Chevrolet. Led by Adley Rutschman. So, we're going to start with you, Jalen. All right. How do you see this whole thing shaking out, number one? And number two, if you had to pick a team to just latch your cart to for the rest of the season or really years to come, which team would it be chock full of young players? I think the answer to both questions right now is both. The Reds. The Reds have been the most exciting team to watch in baseball in the last month. It's going to continue. They're hitting between Matt McClain, Ellie De La Cruz. They'll get pitching in the offseason. You can trade for bullpen stuff in – the, and during the season, the Orioles division, they're in a tough division. They're always going to be going at it every single year. Whereas a team like Cincinnati in the NL Central, anything can get <laughs> no, That's what I thought. I was Very like, yeah, spring training, yeah, okay. everybody's happy. But no, like the way he was telling me, he looked at me and he was like, man, I'm presses me. It's hard because to impress Joey Votto, and he even said it, this guy reminded me of Mickey He's Mantle. So that's like that's saying so, stuff right there. So I, I, I like what the Reds are doing. I, I think they're they're gonna play good defense. They're gonna pitch, and they're they're always gonna hit at Great American Ballpark. So mm -hmm. it, it's going to be special there. Yeah, the ball was flying this weekend, and that ballpark was sold out. It is so fun to see that baseball is officially back in Cincinnati, yeah. and we are all buying stock as fans of the Spate and the Home Run Derby for the first time in his career. So Ariel Epstein here for her hate it. Mookie Betts is the best leadoff hitter of all time. Hate it. Ooh. I like you. No that. hesitation. No I love hesitation. it. <laughs> Giving a shout out to the birthday boy, Mr. Derek Jeter. Second best average when leading off a game, hitting 296 in his career. Derek Jeter was one of the most reliable bats. Steal bases, be a force to be reckoned with when you're in the box. I don't need imposing Aaron Judd. Well, I don't know. I like a guy who gets on. Man, some analytical guys, some century. analytical guys will be calling you right now saying, hold on a second. My type of guy, you know, is a guy that kind of bombs it too. I I, I like Alfonso Soriano. I think Ooh, him, tell us when why. you look at him as a leadoff, I remember playing against him. This dude used a 40-ounce bat, it felt like. He had that wiggle, he had that waggle. The century, you saw that list of most home I runs did. by a leadoff hitter since the year 2000. Do you agree with these guys or do you think it's Mookie? Porton that he brings to that team is just that championship mentality, right? He's been the catalyst for this team that has been a perennial. Tuve is one of the main ingredients to Not that. Not only that, but he's 5'6". He has that bat. He yeah. has Trust me, bat. hold it down for the little guys. You got to hold it down for the little guys. Yogi Berra loves it. He 100% loves that. Uh, you know what people don't love right now, especially if you're here in the New York area? Uh -oh. Your time, but I don't know how they're going to make up ground. I think they're done. Uh, I Absolutely. 15 games back of the division, eight games back of the wild card. You know what? Look at the players that are playing well right now for you. You're a center You that, were that, there. The WBC. You were when physically that, there calling the game. When the, I remember calling the game and that happened and I was like, the Mets season's over. My phone blew. No, I was watching and I texted one of my Mets That's friends. how important Sorry, three outs are. That it can just. They have errors, but that's kind of what's been going I mean, down a lot with can the happen. Mets this season. A lot of yeah. miscues. They had a lot of miscues in Friday's game, which led to the other loss there uh, with the Phillies. Jalen, are you here for it, or do you hate it? Do they sell? Yeah, I'm here for it. And like Ariel already said, she hit some great points. I mean, I, it's, in my opinion, they're they've all 27 outs. No yeah. And that really hasn't there. really happened. I mean, it's been yeah. an absolute grind to get 27 outs, and. You know, you've had suspensions that you're dealing with, with bullpen guys and starters. You're one you're, you're having, hurt. Your guys aren't really stepping up the way they should step up. You know, you, you have those three, four, five starters that haven't really beaten up on those three, four, five guys that you're going against. And the reality is in that division, that division is young, man. Like, you look at the Marlins. They're coming up. Under, you that, were talking crazy. offline here for a second. I mean, this might be absolutely you understand bonkers. understand these contracts better than Swing anyone. Swing for the fences. On uh, one hand, as a pitcher, is... no one wants to go to the Mile High City. On the other hand, you saw him rake in Colorado. I'm not aware who said that, but whoever said that, really, the altitude got the better of him. <laughs> because clearly, that's just cr bonkers. How that's dare crazy. you? How dare you? I'm sorry. I have to go it. there. My three years, broadcast three right. years, 300 pumps. Are you crazy? Time out. <laughs> Hold on a second. Like, wait. Is does that money 70 million? Let's start there first. But right? you wouldn't or, take that. You had to do. You would have to do something. No, I think if, if you can afford review. giving 300 million, you can probably afford 600 See, and thing, keep them for 10 years. Yonder, the thing is, though, he's two players. He's two guys. I get that, but and I understand that if he gets hurt, now you're, you know, in a bad situation in your lineup. In your, but as a fan of the game, I love these ideas, right? If I'm Otani, I, 
the name of the game is to get back to the bank as many times as possible. It doesn't it doesn't matter the you know the years or the amount. We want to get back to the bank as many times as possible. You also got to perform as That's many true. times as possible. That's you're it, a yeah. pitch away from blowing out, or you're a swing away from blowing an oblique and be out for a whole year. You're a so step in the bag is, off and like something like so that happens. So you'd rather sign the longer term contract. Get that bag. Yourself. Get that guaranteed yeah, bag that starts I think with he's proven six. it. Look, what, what can you not do with 300 that you want to win, you want to do your thing? Give me my 10 years, build off of me, and like let's go get it. Being in, the, in, in a place, in a situation where you can be there for like three years. Players make a name for themselves when they stay with an organization. Now, Otani's made a name for himself. Don't yeah. get me wrong. Eight years old, right? So if for some reason he does sign a three-year contract, that's just absolutely bonkers. And somehow this all like actually like, works out. You get an Otani. Like, you get an Otani. Literally in this like <laughs> alternate <laughs> universe. It is. But you look at where he'll be. And, and to your point, especially in a place like Colorado, yeah. Colorado means almost death for pitchers, it does. right? Yep. So then you're going to see him transition to the other side he'll probably be primarily a hitter there goes all that value so you're right get the bag probably going to start with the six sign for 10 years the team's going to go ahead and probably make up for that not just in attendance and sponsorships they'll probably sign a deal a tv deal in japan so they'll be able to get all the money from those rights like Shoyo Otani is an absolute cash cow it has to be 10 plus years this, that would be his 31 year season. Can you imagine if he's in Denver, he's hitting 100 homers? That's what I was about Unreal. to say. You know, what kind of offensive numbers could he put up in Denver? I'd love to see it. I'm going to be honest. Give him a full oh, no. season in Denver. Hey, he hit one home run over, over the weekend, and that was just the beginning. But hey, listen, Cincinnati, they were hitting homers like it was going out of style.